Hey everyone, it's Shar from Shard's Fashion Nation. And I did tell you that when I finished that washcloth, I would show it to you before we start uh, well, making what goes with it. Okay, <laughs> which is the bath mitt. Uh, so yeah, this came out really nice. It's sturdy. You can stretch it either way. I have plenty of the skein of yarn left. Look at that. There's plenty there. Um, whoo. I have to get things done before shipping things tomorrow. So, um, my stuff for the giveaway, I will put aside. Okay. Uh, but the stuff that I'm mailing out tomorrow, um, is the Christmas hat, you know, that I did with the collaboration. I still wish you were on YouTube, sweetie. Um, for the Christmas crochet collaboration, I'm actually mailing that to one of my friends. Um, you know, I've talked about her. I just don't say her name for her privacy. Um, but, you know, there's plenty left here for me to make a bath mitt out of and if you guys don't remember the bath mitt that I showed you that I made for Nicole from Sin City Soaps and Candles um there you go there you go in a different uh video you were actually able to see the purple color in this <laughs> yes you were in here not so much um it's really gloomy outside and I checked the weather for, like, my adventure with Rocco from Roaming with Rocco. So, um, next week, if I'm not on for a while, it's all cool. It's all cool because I'm coming back. I'm coming back right here in this house. So, um, and I am going to do video of our journey together um so again i always do that like a double twist but that's just my thing you don't have to do that my hair is gone weird okay and since this is for a man one three i'll probably do like 40 on this one, if not just like 35. You got to pay attention to your account. So, that is very important. Three, four, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have 30 more of those to go. I'll be right back with that. 30 more. <laughs> Actually, I counted it out. 38. It's a good number. It's a good round number at that. Uh, so this is when we take that and go to turn it back. So I measured this around my hand. Now, if you really want to know how I do this, I take this here. And wrap it around my fist. Now the reason why you want to do that. Is because it needs to fit over your hand. It has to fit over your hand. Um, so that is how I measure that. So don't worry about that. My measurements. I always try to do. I need to bring the microphone up here. That makes everything better. <laughs> anyway. Um, so. On this one, I'm going to start off with just a second line of single crochet. Like what? A second line of single crochet? Yes, a second line of single crochet. Now, see, that's still going to square right there. Don't, don't worry about that. That's still going to square. Oh, my, we're having a little chit chat. I notice, like, if you're using the YouTube beta, go back to the YouTube classic for uploading 
your content. Please and thank you. Um, I noticed that they are really targeting a lot of people using YouTube beta. So I went back to classic upload. And I actually prefer classic upload better. They ask you, why are you leaving YouTube beta? Well, for one, I don't trust them because they're tracking our addresses. That's right. They're using a VPN tracker to track our addresses. So what are they doing? They're stalking us. Oh. Da, da, da. My friends from Explore with us. Um, you should go check out their channel. They're really cool people. Um, they had some dude say something rude to me. Uh, and they literally confronted the dude and eh, reported the guy. I mean, like, they're out to help other channels. Like, and if you... You know, if you have somebody say something rude to you, they will literally talk to that person and say, hey, you know, that's not all right. You know, so, uh, oh, yeah. And, you know, like I've said before, are all these advertisements uh, family friendly? Absolutely not. But YouTube lets them happen. And why? They're all about the money. They're all about the money. So, yeah, that's the other thing is go back to YouTube Classic. And to the other setting I told you to put it on. And quite frankly, that kind of like stumps them because when they ask you when you're leaving beta, what's the problem? Just put down that you don't trust them. I don't trust them. I'm still here, but doesn't mean I'm necessarily trusting them. Hold on. Yeah, it does not necessarily mean that I am trusting them. I don't trust them like you're... Uh, basically stalking us using a VPN? No. Like, that's so seriously wrong. Pretty sure you guys would agree with that. That is so seriously wrong. It's like, they have become stalkers. Nobody can use it. I've been stalked before, trust me. That is not something that you want. Okay, now when you come to this corner, pull one loop through, and then pull a loop through, and then go through. And why? You've made it square. Okay, now. <laughs> uh, this is the fun of try not to flu boo. Try not to flu boo. Pay attention. Attention, everyone. Attention. Attention. Please pay attention to what's going on here. So, um, take this because we're going to come up on the uh, tail yarn. And uh, try not to get your band twisted. This is the wristband. Take that through and take it through. Okay, so it's like this. And then what I want you to do is just loop that through both and then go like this. And now I'm going to just go ahead and secure as if I was going to just end my whole crochet but this is not the end of my whole crochet i'm just gonna show you what i do that way you 
even you feel that it's more secure, I want you guys to understand that, yeah, so that you feel that it's more secured. Um, so yeah, and what I do with my tail is I do leave it on for a good reason. I leave it on for a good reason because that is a good marker. I notice a lot of people clip off the tail, don't clip off the tail. That is a good marker indication of where you started is that tail. A start can also be the end um, of what you're crocheting. So to do that is actually probably a really good idea. To go ahead and do. Now, I have that there, and now what I'm going to do, you have your choice of which way are you going to go on this wristband. I normally go one way or the other, and I'll show you why I made this bigger for a reason. Most dudes have a bigger wrist and bigger hand than I do. Yes, you do. Um, so the choice on this is which direction are you going to take this? Now, I normally will go this way, but I can also go the other way. I have no problems with this. If you prefer to turn it this way, you're actually looking at the inside band of, of your uh, work which will eventually be your outside band of your work. So choose a direction. Again, we're going to do another line of single crochet around this. So take it through, take it through. A lot of people do their single crochet different, but they will just take it through and then go like that. I don't like doing that. I like doing it this way. To me, it's a lot quicker. You also save on flubuing your project by doing your single crochet this way. A lot of people think that this is a double crochet. This is actually a single crochet. I taught myself from learning from old people, you know, like watching them crochet. I just kind of picked up on it. And uh, I also used to read the Encyclopedia Britannica. That's actually how I learned how to braid. Is that weird? I don't know. I was a nerd when I was a kid. Just like I read a lot. I did. I read a lot when I was a kid. The other kids didn't like me for that, but I don't care. You know where you are now. <laughs> Karma. I think I told you this guy this once, you guys. Um, one girl that was really mean to me and always teased me in school. She was one of the skinny popular girls. I went back to the town I was raised in and uh, at that time I was a model and they had you know uh, voted me most likely to not get anywhere in my life and most likely to kill myself and you know um, and I was weighing like 140 pounds when I had seen her like I already knew who she was. I didn't really like try to offend her or anything. You know, I was just trying to avoid her. And she was like, oh my gosh, Charlene. And I'm like, uh, and yeah, but you are. And she's like, I'm not going to say her name. And, um, she's like, you remember me from school? And I'm like, yeah, I remember you. You look great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
just trying to be nice. Um, I was. I was just trying to be nice to somebody that had bullied me through school. And she was like, you know, we voted you most likely to. And I'm like, oh. She's like, so what do you do? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm a model. She's like, what? That's right. Don't judge a person. Even when you're growing up, don't judge a person because they don't have the same things you have. They don't have the money that your family has. Okay, we're going back into double crochet. And the only reason I'm doing the double crochet is because it makes this go a lot quicker. Um, so, yeah, never judge a person. And I was like, so what happened to your two best friends? And I see you're working here at, and I'm not going to say where she works. And she's like, um... But you're a model. And I'm like, yeah. You know, chalk it off. It's like no big deal. I still get casting calls every once in a while. But. Yeah. I just. I don't know about that industry anymore. Um. That asked her, you know, about her two best friends. Apparently, they got knocked up by the same guy on the same hair party night. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Never judge people. Karma. Karma, karma. And never treat anybody bad because karma comes back on you. Always treat people with respect. You get that respect back. And uh, it doesn't matter who it is. You actually get respect back. Well, most of the time. Even though I was always trying to be nice to them in school, they were mean to me. I think it's because they didn't have to live in an apartment. And I, I did. But I also don't think that they understood that their parents' hard-earned money had to pay for those houses they were living in. No, I don't think they took that into facts of reality. The reality of it is your parents have to pay for your stuff. Even if you do something wrong. Like one of the kids, he snatched a Native American kid. From the grocery store tied him to a tree and took a bull whip to him town found out about that his dad was a cop his dad tied him to that same tree and bull whipped him how about that for some karma mm -mm. that that day when i found out that kid did that oh uh-uh he was also one of my bullies like, but apparently he didn't like Native Americans, and that was wrong. Very, very wrong. And, uh, yeah. That's why I'm saying you, you just don't go around judging people. Always like the uh, Native American people from the res. That's where I got my medicine bag was from their healer. But uh, back to this. <laughs> if you see right there, like how much, how much that literally like went, how quick that went. I'm not going to say how much that's wrong verbiage. Um, how quick that actually goes then uh, do you get the point of like when these are made by hand and I'm going to take this around the wrist until it comes up you know like and all the way up across for the phalanges 
and I'm going to try not to make this video too long. I know I made the other one longer, but um, I'm going to try not to make this one too long. So what I'm going to do is I'll do another line of double crochet, and then I'll go back into single crochets. And uh, towards the top, I'll like seal that off for and leave the thumb hole open. And we'll be right back with that. Now, right here, I had started a single crochet back over my double crochets. And the reason why I did this is because I'm not going to make this too long on the wrist and the hand. Um, even though men's hands are bigger, don't get me wrong on that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it until like I can make the thumb hole, you know, go up and around and around and leave a section for the thumb. And when I do that, you know, like I said, I got to go back and forth. This does take a while. I'll tell you that. And that's why I like stop the video, you know, pause it and then come back to show you the work that I've done. But these, these are very nice to have. Um, and they're reusable, obviously. So you're saving the environment a lot. Um, and you can wash these with either a bar soap or your liquid soap that you have. And like I said, and you can just hang it to dry or you could throw it in the washer and dryer. But you really have to be careful to wash these in cold if you're going to put it in the washer. Yes, indeed. And that's why these things come with instructions. So I will be right back. Okay, much like making the knuckle glove. Okay, I'm at a point on this, okay, where I actually want to take this and start turning it because also a man's fingers are bigger than a woman's fingers. Now, I put some double crochet into this to make it go quicker. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it at this point and start going back with one line of single crochet. I don't know if you can see this right here where I did that one line of the single crochet and then added in the double crochet, but this makes it go so much quicker for making bath mitts, making gloves. Um, it, it really does. And once you pick up on this technique, you will just be able to just boom, make your own. And, uh, I'll be turning this and be back. Okay, now we've come midpoint to where the, uh, this part of the glove right here needs to be attached. That way you have the thumb hole. And that's what we're going to do next. And I will literally show you this instead of just, you know, pause it and say, I'll be right back. Now I'm literally going to show you <laughs> what I'm going to do. So, um... We're going to take we are going to take this loop through here. Now I could have done this completely different, but I'm going to take this loop through here. Once it's actually all together, that loop didn't go through right. See? Like, things can literally get flu booed, and that's why I said, you know, like, with crochet, even with knit, things can go wrong, and, but, you know, we can always correct that. So, what I'll do instead is I'll just pull an extra loop through. Now, we start going in a circle around this way until we have this part of the bath mitt. Now, how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to take that and go back. I know this seems weird to do a double crochet this way, but that actually makes it a little bit easier just to go back and you have enough room for your phalanges and you have enough room for your thumb. And these, like I said, are stretchy. So that's what makes it really good. So I'm going to go back and do a line of double crochet all the way around which like I said makes this go quicker 
until I get to the very top. And then that's when I close it off. So I'll be right back with that. And then we'll do the thumb. We are almost up around all of the phalange. And I just wanted you to see real quick how this is working out. Now you can also do the same yeah, same technique with knuckle gloves. So just to show you, I don't know how well you can see that. Just to show you the where the hem should be right here. This is seamless. This is seamless the way I'm doing that right there. And uh, a lot of people would think there's a seam. So let me, I have to take a little break from my hand because dang, the arthritis and doing this, if you don't warm your hands really good, you know, like I did, but if you don't warm your hands really good, yeah, you know what happens. I'll be right back. And then we really will do that thumb. Show you guys real quick before I really finish this off serious. I just want to show you how far I've got on this look. I mean, I'm serious. Ugh, the lighting in here is so horrible today. Eh. Oh, I was in the bathroom. I was watching Rich, Rich Looks. Hey, I think we all watch YouTube <laughs> in the bathroom. Uh, I had to take a break. Coffee talks. Um, <laughs> so, like, I'm in there. I'm watching him. You know, Rich Lux, he, you know, like, posts something Jeffree Star said. It was nothing hateful or anything. I like Jeffree Star. He is who he is. He is a unique person of himself. But, um, I guess Shopify messed up with a bunch of, uh, cosmetic orders. I didn't finish watching the whole video. I wanted to come out here and finish this video. But, you know, hey... Wasn't his fault. It's Shopify. And I am enjoying the Honey app. Honey, if you want to use me as one of your people, sponsor my channel. Thank you. This is not a sponsored video, but hey, if it was, <laughs> I'm really enjoying their app for like shopping. Um,. Because after my adventure with Rocco, I won't have him around to take me to go do my, you know, shopping. You know, help me with my shopping. Uh, so I have to figure out what to do because epilepsy seriously sucks. And um, makes it a little hard. So anyway, I'll pause and be right back. Don't want to make this too long. Okay, and now is when we come to the part where we close off the top. Because, yeah, that's way longer than my hand. And I have a long hand. So, um, I'll show you guys how we do that. And what I normally do is just leave your crochet hook on there. We're still going to do a double crochet. Even though we can do a single. Yeah. Why did I just do that as a single? I said we were doing a double. Um, we're doing a double crochet through there. Okay. One, two, and through. Okay. And then what we're going to do is literally turn that back the other way because we're going to finish this off or there's two techniques you can do for this I really prefer to just turn it and go back the other way I really do and there's a reason why and I'll show that to you because we'll be going like this we'll literally be taking that through here and back through here and pulling that through. Now remember, this is the inside of your bath mitt. So now right here is literally where 
you are making an actual hymn. This is where you're making an actual hymn. And this also adds a little extra extension to your bath mitt and a little shape, a little extra shape to your bath mitt. So, yeah, this video is obviously going to run a little longer, a lot longer, really, than 30 minutes because we're already past the 30-minute mark. But, hey, you know, I promised you guys I would show you, and I just need to get some stuff done before, before I go on my adventure with Rocco from Roaming with Rocco uh, next weekend. And uh, it's kind of like we'll be doing a road trip adventure together, our last one. Um, and so we'll both be, uh, doing video about our adventure together. So, uh, uh look forward to that. Not, I'm not going to tell you what we're going to travel in. I'm going to let him explain that to you guys next weekend. So that's, that's a surprise to look forward to. Now we're almost to the very end of this, which is great because like I said, you know, once you get the swing of making these, you, know, you just really get the hang of it. And we bring this through here and then and then there we go for that part. And now um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and clip that yarn to make the knot. We're going to be a little knotty here. <laughs> right. And look, there's so much of the skein of yarn left. So wunderbar. And then we'll just make that knot. Obviously, we won't be able to make this and the piece that you hang it on. That would be this end. Um, because this is the inside. And then we just do that again. I like to make sure that my knot is like tightly secured. That's why I do it double like that. I mean, you guys have seen me sew by hand. And I do have some sewing to do before I go on this trip with Rocco. Um, so yeah. That's the top of the bath mitt, and now we're going to move on to the thumb. Um, that's going to be fun, because that's the next part here, is to take where we just clipped that off, right? Put the scissors away. Um, and start making the thumb. Grab your crochet hook. <laughs> I know that's like some Jeffree Star action. Oh my gosh. I guess Shopify really messed up. He He's not happy with them right now. So they seriously did some mess up. They made it seem like uh, people got checked through, I guess, for their Black Friday sale. No, for Jeffree Star's Black Friday sale. And those people didn't get checked through. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Shopify made a mess out of things. So, yeah. Don't know if I'd be using them. If I was Kylie Jenner, I wouldn't use them either. But hey. Huge fan of her. I don't know. I just find her to be a bit weird. <laughs> I know what I said earlier. Don't be judgmental. It's the money thing, you know. And her, you know, her dad is now a woman. 
I don't really know. Uh, Caitlin Bernice Jenner got it all of that snipped. Not sure. Um, okay, the first thing we're going to do is just take a single crochet around and uh, we're going to keep that going around and that's how we're going to make this thumb is we're just going to do single crochet for the thumb. Now I've done also double crochet for a thumb on stuff before and it worked out but you know And it also, like I said, double crochet can also make things go quick. I mean, you can do a line of single crochet like this, which is nice because it makes the, th the thumb hole really clean when you make it. And uh, gives it that little extra strength of texture in there. And I think we all like a good sturdy pro product and uh, something that's very reliable. And that is why I, I do that, you know, starting with that single crochet and uh, make the product sturdier so it lasts a lot longer. And that's what I like to do when I make stuff. I like to make it so it has a longer a longer time for use. You know? And that's always a good thing. So getting that thumb hole going. And I think I will switch off into double crochet. I mean, serious. So right here. Now here's one thing that I do with that double crochet right here is take it and then I'll to do two double crochet in one area that way it um, gives a little extra gap length for uh, your thumb and that's also important. when you're making crocheted items is only in two of those is where I do two double crochet in one area and I'll show you why because if you notice now now that gives that that slant for the thumb and a lot of support so I'll be right back and then this is done and tomorrow I can ship it off <laughs> we're almost there <laughs> oh this is fun and now the thumb is way longer than my thumb and a lot wider because I have really skinny phalanges. Um, so I'll be finishing off the thumb. Is that's what we're doing right now? Is finishing off the thumb because that's very very important. Very very important. come to this part and we're going to do this much like what I did with um, the top and uh, now that we can do this part because I have to turn it in order to bring it back the other way. Okay. 
And now, this part right here, and bring it through, and bring that through there, right? Uh, it was an awfully thin one. Not, I don't care for that when the, the um, yarn does that. It goes really thin on you when you, you know you did not buy thin yarn. I don't like when it does that. You know, like it only grabs like a couple of strings and then kind of craps out on you. I don't like when it does that. So, like I said, much like the top of this, that's how we're going to finish off the thumb. Come on. Why isn't it? Because it might want to let me finish it. Says the bath mitt that's going in the mail tomorrow with the other stuff. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, Nicole and Wayne, I hope that you two are going to enjoy what I've made for you. Um, I know you make the soaps and lotions and, oh, lovely, lovely wax melts and candles. I still have to get some of those candles from you. Okay, that's done. Um... <clears throat> so let me clip that yarn. Mm, excuse me. Sorry. Clip that yarn. Goodness. Like, need more water. I need to go get more water, actually. I really do. If there's any left in this bottle. Yeah, I had two bottles. I wasn't too sure if I had anything left. So... We're going to finish this and then ta -da! And I hope that you've enjoyed this today because, hey, another bathroom done. Now, last night I was actually teaching a friend just how to uh, make the washcloth. She's just getting back into crocheting so I wanted to show her something simple to get back into but we did uh, single crochet lines last night which made it much more simple for her because when you're just getting back into a craft like this um, you know start with something simple like a washcloth. Um, try not to get into something complicated, like a dragon. <laughs> um, but since I've been crocheting for a while, making uh, stuffies, that's really not too complicated for me. I mean, it could be complicating for some people, you know, like if you don't understand the uh, complicated parts of making things. Okay, made the little part right here where you can hang it. Then I'm just going to make one more knot. And then this bath mitt will be turned right side out. That's right. And it is ta done. This bath mitt is completely ta done. Yes. So, turn this right way out. Very easy. It's like a sock. <laughs> turn it right way out. And uh, pretty much that, that's a nice bath mitt. If you have skinny phalanges like me, this part's easy to do. Um, my whole hand literally fits in this part. <laughs> That's how I know that this part will fit on a man's hand. <laughs> um, so, yeah, pretty much. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed 
watching me teach you <laughs> that part rolled that's okay <laughs> just roll it back teaching you how to crochet another bath mitt and uh i don't know how big his thumb is so hey that was optional like hello <laughs> so uh and it can fit on either hand so that's no problem it fits on either hand and now I'll just show you like the comparison between both of their bath mitts. The his and hers. The his and hers. Bath mitts. So I want everybody out there to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always stay blessed. And I will see you. <laughs> This is funny ending on the next one. <laughs> and look, even the top of them, you can tell the difference. You can, you can tell the difference. So, uh, and the thumb. His and hers. So, anyway, guys, I will see you later. That's why I was saying stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I will see you for the next one. <laughs> Have a blessed whatever's left of your weekend. <laughs>